Hello, today I want to share another quick tip here and today will be about string to hash. So I will create another script string to hash. Let me open this. So when working for example on the Unity animation, uh, you can just for example change state You can get your animator and play and that will require a state name right here but you see that you can also pass a string as parameter and that's what we want because um, it's computers are faster when comparing numbers rather than comparing strings but how do you get this animation state hash all you need to do is create create the int and for example your running animation state and you can get animator dot string to hash generates a parameter id from a string so you can just pass here and the string will be your animation name the animator panel so you can just run can pass running here and that will generate this string but you can't make this const because this is generated at runtime but you can make this read only okay so now instead of passing uh, strings like this you can just uh, pass your running animation state read only int field and that will work the same and it's better for performance and yeah and you don't need to do anything here uh, but remember that this needs to be the exactly string as your animator panel if you're rename the animation the animator panel you need to also come back here and rename this again but that will be better for performance and also better for uh, keep your uh, code more readable all right so that's it that's it for the for this tip and i'll see you in the next video all right, see you there.